Good evening and welcome back to Music Scrap, the Musical Scrapper, second recording for this evening because I'm going to work in my playlist journal now and do a journal page based on a song in my playlist that I was listening earlier to, to I was listening to earlier today, so I was like, oh, I have to do this song. Sit. I'm going to start my background with red, orange, and yellow. Okay. Be interesting to see if it crackles on the recording too. When I mix this, I don't want to be, oh gosh. I want to keep some of each color. That was way too much orange here in this spot, but oh well. So I'm going to mix it, but I do want to keep some of the color. So I don't want to but go too overboard with the sprayer. And I think I need more, a little more yellow I want in there still. So I'm just going to add some here. A couple spots. And I've got a lot of yellow here, but I'll put it on my paper. That's my garment. <laughs> That's all right. I'll put it down there. Okay. And I need my large bubble wipe. Bubble wrap. Bubble wipe. <sighs> Lots of cool color on this bubble wrap. I may actually have to burst those bubbles and use them. Use the bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on top of here. remember which side of the page is up, which is the top. I'm just going to put a piece of paper here because it doesn't reach right to the edge because of the binding. I'm not telling you the song yet. Nancy, as I go, I'll be giving hints. Okay? So, first hint, it is a song that's normally sung by a cappella groups. A cappella groups are those harmony groups that sing without instrumental accompaniment. Show you the page. Hold on here. Yeesh. There we go. That's what I got so far. You can see it's even picked up some of the layers from underneath there. A couple of spots there. See? It's picked up some teal. 
Let me get a plain piece to start another background here. Okay, so this is one that I made from last night's journal page. So I'm just going to start on the other side here. Hi, Phoebe. Nice to see you. Oh, good guess, Phoebe. That's a good guess, but that's not it. Good guess. From the same era. Now, before boys to men. There's a start on that one. Oh, hold on. I still got some wet. Don't mind it staying on there if it's not wet anymore, but. I want to get all the wet ones so it doesn't mix. I don't mind if it comes up with the layer, but I don't want it mixing with my color. There is a difference. Okay, so the next color, I'm going to have to dry this. This is pretty thick paint there. Not much yellow came through. I wanted more yellow, but just didn't work out that way. No dar, not from a movie. As far as I know, it's not from a movie. All right, so now for the next layer of, oh, for goodness sakes. Uh, all right, so for my next layer, I think I want some, I wonder if the yellow will show up now. It's too, probably too. All right, I think I'll do this for the next layer because I'm going to use my 3D, this, this eye stencil from, the stencil from eye stencil, see the 3D circle? So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna use my pink, well, it's violet blue. good stencil here. Now you can really see, or I can, I hope you can see it in the camera, the blue, yeah, you can. You can see the blue luminescence. So that's why it's called violet blue. These are the Dyna color paints that thanks to Patty, I'm addicted to. Thanks a lot, Patty. Patty Parish, as that is. <laughs> T 
too funny, Phoebe. You speak in Martian now? Must be. Put my fingers down there in the stencils, especially since it's watercolor paper, a little thick. Subtle, but exactly what I wanted. And let's see if any more is going to come through here. Don't worry about it, Phoebe. I do it all the time. All right, hold on. I need that piece of paper here. All right, so I'm going to take this one. I mean, why not? I like that. I don't want to put another layer on that one. Um, hold on. I'm just looking through my papers. Okay, I don't have another blank side, so I'm going to start a new page here. Thanks, Phoebe. love that print you can see how around the holes you get kind of this really cool shading so that's like the reverse like a ghost print <laughs> yes thanks to me everyone's becoming very fluent in martian phoebe <laughs> All right, so, oh, hold on, I didn't put this down on the other side. I wonder if it's still wet. Let's see. A little bit. bubble wrap off my cardstock here or it's gonna stick forever. Mm. Remember the orange bubble wrap? I put it on top of this. Isn't that not cool. Very cool. All right. Okay. Great. So, next layer. All right, so, so far, I've got this. Now, you can see by the colors that it's kind of 60s, right? All right. So, now, let's see. I need a splash of gold, I think. Definitely gold. for my next layer. And before I put my gold on, I gotta get the stencil. Let's see, I'm, I think I will do, I'm gonna do my chevron, but I'm gonna be doing it this way. I'm going to kind of, huh? 
So I'm not going to cover the entire plate with gold because I don't want this part to transfer onto my, I'm only going to want the arrows. So the chevrons, and I don't want my chevron, I want my chevrons going this way for a specific reason. So I'm just going to put a piece of paper down. No, actually I won't use paper. What I'll use is I'll use a piece of my plastic. Oh, I can use paper. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I just want to kind of give myself a line to where I'm going to stop with the paint, with the gold paint. Okay, so I just need to put that much gold paint on. All right. Don't want to waste my paint. No, definitely need more paint than that. I want the gold to really show up. But I'm just not going to roll off that just yet because I may need it. Now, as far as the book, it doesn't matter which way I put it. Now, Cool. Now I have to get some on the other part of the page. And I don't think I have quite enough, so I'm just going to roll a little more paint on here. And put this back down. And now get the other side. where I missed. I don't care if they're exactly the same or not, doesn't matter. And actually they're not, but there we go. Now I'm going to make those pop. I'll show you how in a moment. Hey Carol, nice to see you. I think what I'll do is I'll put this page this way and this page. I can't even see where the gold paint is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Ah, no wonder I couldn't see it. It was on the other side. <coughs> yeah, okay. Whatever. Stuck my hands in the paint. I think I'm going to have to do clean up before I do my next step. Next step is kind of my last layer. 
but my sense line needs it on the floor. I think I need to do a pickup layer here. I don't I want to, oh, maybe I'll wait because my next layer will be cool. All right, hold on. I'm going to get my stencil for the next layer here. Hold on. It's on the floor. There we go. And it's my hexagons. And actually, I'm even going to use a same color. Oh, no, I have to do something to this layer first. Hold on. Now, I'm going to do something to some of the arrows. I'll make sure they're dry because I don't want to ruin my marker. Okay, so first clue was that it was from the era of a cappella part singing. A cappella part singing. So I'm going to make some of these, not all of them, I'm going to make some of them stand out by using my Martha Stewart black marker here. So I'm going to come from and that. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Phoebe. trying to be random and I didn't end up random so yeesh try to go back to random There. 
And I think I need one more over here. Almost did on the wrong side ish. Okay. Alright, so that makes those some of those arrow uh chevrons pop a little bit and some of them are staying in the background. Not no, no, that's not it. Okay, so you need another um it is a it is a song about love though, Athala. <laughs> okay, Phoebe. So it is a song about love. And think about these colors make me think of like a I don't know what to call them. Gypsy fortune teller. There's another hint. Thank you. All right, so now, now I'm ready for my purple, sh purple. So my purple, I am adding with a sponge. I don't know where my purple sponge is from last night, but anyway, so, so my purple, I am adding with a sponge and just in random areas. So like I did last night. So it's about love, and there's something about a gypsy gypsy in it. Fortune teller, you know what I mean? So we'll see if anybody knows this song or not. It'll be interesting to see. So I'm putting down some purple paint here on my paint palette. little blob of paint that end up on my sponge. I'm going to be generous with the paint because I want them to be fairly prominent. Oh, well, I hope you guys have heard of the song before. Because that would be totally like unfair. Oh, you must have heard it before. Someone must have. Someone's got to get it. Anybody recognize it? That would be too funny if no one, none of you knew it. Someone's going to know it. Dar has to know it. She's still here, that is. That's it! Kathy wins! Kathy wins the prize! Don't have a prize, but Kathy wins it! Oh! Oh no! Dropped my water bottle. Hold on. I think the cover stayed closed. Yes, it did. Okay. Never mind. I'm okay. Perfect. 
Partridge Family song. I don't think so. I don't recall the Partridge Family singing it. Maybe they did. But... <sighs> I have no idea who recorded it originally. I remember hearing it. I have it recorded by the Cat's Pajamas, who were a vocal group on my Alaskan cruise. Amazing vocal group. They were so much fun. I think I might... I want them at more prominent, so I think I'm going to do some directly on here. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm going to try and match them up here because I want a little more solid colors. Just a second. How on earth is that? Oh, there we go. Hold on. So it get, kind of got turned around there. All right. So I'm just going to do some more because I want them definitely more solid than that. Should have just done them directly in the first place. talking too much and they dried some so that's all right I've got paint left so this works fine <laughs> yeah I guess maybe I don't know <laughs> oh dear Got to leave this space open right here. Oh, that got messed up big time. Let's see if I can fix it at all. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, maybe. All right. I guess I got some. <clears throat> all right. Move my jelly plate out of my way here. I don't want to work on top of it because I don't want the binding to dig into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me dry it because I'm going to highlight these with white. what I got here. <clears throat> and 
then my white paint, wherever that would be. Hello, white paint. There it is, hiding. Sorry if I miss saying hello to anyone since I came in the room. If you don't want to talk, you just want to watch, that's fine too. All right, so the light's coming from here, so the white's going to have to go on the top and the right hand side. So the top and the right. I guess I have to dip it each time. I don't know where my white pen is. It fell on the floor with all my tool caddy stuff. So I will find that tomorrow. That's mine. I'm not going to do any art related stuff tomorrow until I get, find, get that stuff out. I don't really have a thin liner brush, so it should be actually a little thinner than this, but I'm trying to use this side of it so that I be a little more accurate. Not quite as thin as I want. Hold on. Sorry, I have to get my head in the way here so I can see what I'm doing. Apologize. I'm off camera. Almost forgot to up here. There. Okie dokie. And let's make sure these dry. I'm going to use my silver pen. Oh, hold on. I've got to draw my 
draw something else first. All right, let's hope I'm drawing in markers, so I better get it right the first time what I'm trying to draw here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cover it with paint. <laughs> All right, so. I'm going to go around it with the uh, brush tip end in a moment, so it will stand out more, but Oh, no, you did, Phoebe. That's my mail. That means I've got mail. <laughs> okay, now I have to make it so that part of it's full and part of it's, it's kind of partially empty. May have to do another layer of black. I wonder if I paint, I might paint over that. black paint. Now, hold on, what did I do with that brush that I just used? Where did it go? Oh, there's my fine brush. I do have one. Okay, here's my brush. Now, what I want is I want to have, I'm going to add some white here, but I don't want it to be white. I just want to kind of add, make it look like frosted glass. So, I just want to have A sheer white here, and of course my marker is running, so I guess that could be a benefit. I think I need black, black paint. Oh, definitely way too much though. Darn it. I may have to go around the edges or something. I just want to have it really black there. Actually, I think I'll just have it straight across. So I can't make it look like it's brewing the way I want it to, so I'm just going to... Oh, oh. Got to make it taller because I messed up the other side here. There we go. Oh, okay. Bye, bye, Phoebe. Sorry, I was distracted. Distracted. 
Sorry. I was painting. As you can see, I don't draw very well, so. I want you to be able to tell that it's open because I'm going to add something important. And I need a piece of clean bubble wrap. And I'm going to cut a piece off so I can have better control. Okay. I just cut off a little piece, a tiny piece of white bubble wrap. Hi, Dana. Nice to see you. I got to add some highlights to that bottle too, but I'm going to let the black dry off a little bit first. I think I need to brayer out my white here. So it's a little flatter because I'm getting too much paint on it on the bubble white wrap. I just want it to look like bubbles coming out of the there. Okay, so now I need to dry this black. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of highlights here if I can. Oops. Uh oh. Pulled my brush tip right off my. I think I need to go in this clean water. Ah. Still got black on that brush. Okay. So, try and add a few highlights here to make this bottle look round. Okay, now, that won't take long to dry because it's pretty thin. Now, hey Tina! One more touch and this page will be finished. My silver pen.
just want to make sure this is our marker, I should say. I want to make sure that this is dry. So for those of you who came in, we had a little bit of a guessing game, which Kathy won. Of course, there's no prize, but Kathy won anyway. My song is Love Potion number nine. And I'm not really putting the title on. I've just got my love potion here that looks like India ink, as the song says. And I'm going to put the number nine on it. With my Studio Metallic Marker from Dollarama. And it works pretty good. So in each of these sections, I'm also going to be putting a nine should have done it the other this style of nine perhaps I want to get the uh, purple off by rubbing it on a baby wipe get it back down to the purple the silver I should say Love potion number Ta-da! Can't beat a buck for a silver and a gold marker that actually works over acrylic. There we go. Love potion number nine. Oh, I just have to add the date. Uh, what is the date today? Um, hello, where'd you go, Marker? Uh oh, did you it? Hold on a second. I know I put it in there. Oh, no, I didn't. There it is. Tina, it is from our Dollarama. It's by Studio. It's a metallic by Studio. It's from our dollar store. It has like a bullet tip on it, marker. And there was a gold one and a silver one in the package for a buck. So, yeah, I can't beat that. I think I have to put the date up on the top in this one. So it's January 3rd, 22nd, 20th, isn't it? So 01, 20, 2014. There. Yay, baby. Back just in time. 
time to see the finished product. Oops, because <laughs> my box of baby wipes just fell. Hold on. See, I told you I've got total av avalanches all the time here. Oh, things are sitting on top of other things, which are on top of other things. So there we go. Love potion number nine. Should have spread these out a little bit further, but oh well. So it's hard to see, but those are like bubbles coming out of the supposed to be bubbles coming out of the bottle there. I guess I should almost put one. I wonder if I can get any. Ooh, ooh, just stuck that right in the paint. Hold on. You know what I should have done? Is I should have used the back of my marker. Hold on. I should have used. I'm just going to see if I can get those white bubbles to stand up. Maybe I'm going to put a couple. There we go, like that. That would have worked better in the first place. There, there's bubbles coming out of the, there we go. Hey, it's a rarity when a Canadian store, Martian store, has something that American ones don't have. Uh huh. It doesn't happen very often. But our Dollarama, since they switched, see, Dollarama used to be like everything was a dollar or two for a dollar or three for a dollar. And then about two years ago, they switched it and they started adding stuff that was two dollars and three dollars. And since they did that, they've gotten a lot of cooler stuff in so there so i'm just gonna dry that there that shows up a little better So now we've got some distinct bubbles there and some kind of more in the background. So there we go. So there we go. I've done two things today. I did a canvas background. What did I do with it? Where did I put my canvas background? Uh, right here. So if you missed the first recording, on the first recording, I did this camp background on a, its canvas board. So I did this. I'm going to finish it another day. I need a couple of stencils that I don't have. They're not big enough, the ones I have. So I have to make a couple more stencils specific so I can finish this idea. So this was the first recording. I've got a separate recording for this. And then I did my next... I have to do my title now that I, I'm glad I didn't put Nano Jumo on this. I'm glad I left it because I'm now going to call it my playlist journal. And I can even add some pages to the back because you can hole punch them and then just cut them at the holes and they'll stick in and stay in. So I can always add more pages to this journal. So I'm going to call it my playlist journal. So I'm going to make a title for it. So, yeah. So there we go, guys. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I've got to go and get my feet right up and see if I can readjust my left garments again because my toes swelled on me. They are better now that I took my wrap off, but I do have to get it back on. So, yeah. So, 
Thank you. If you watched on the recording, I'm just going to stop the recording here and save it.